three month update on electric fans I put in this 03 Chevy Tahoe. Like right off the back, it working immaculate. I haven't had any problems. I haven't had to pop the hood. Matter of fact, I haven't had to come under the hood for nothing. I live in Alabama, Mobile to be exact. It's hot all the time. It's hot in the winter time. Whenever I crank that thing, the AC is on. I blast it. I don't take it easy on this truck. There's some crucial things I forgot to mention last time. I want to go and lay in a little more depth. Like this alternator, I had to upgrade this alternator. I forgot to mention that because I already had it on here. Like I did a little at a time. This like kind of like a pretty expensive project because I upgraded the radiator. Now, of course, I had to buy the electric fans and I had to buy the harness, but I also had to upgrade my alternator. And I had to get my computer tuned for the fans to be able to come off and on just like it do from the factory. But some of these trucks came with electric fans. You got to remember that now. So it's, it's, it's got what it need. It don't have what it need, but it's set up to be it's designed to be able to do that just like the other ones do. You just have to tell it. And that's part of getting this computer tuned. When you get it tuned, they, gonna, they got a laptop they're going to plug into your OBD. And they're gonna go into the computer and turn the settings on out to turn it on. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that phone number to the place I got it tuned at. It's called Top Dead Center. You can call them and take out your computer and mail it to them. They'll tune it and they'll send it back to you. I believe I paid like $30, $40. I also got my governor deleted. So mine, this truck don't max out at no speed. It's gonna go whatever the hell I tell it to go. I also got my shift points. I mean I wanted mine to shift a little faster. Cause I got the Corvette servo in my transmission. But yeah, I'm gonna put the link to their phone. I'm gonna call them, ask whatever questions you like, and help you understand it. Now, how do you know if you got the bigger radiator though? We can go. You can go outside. Go outside and look right now. If you got the small radiator, your radiator is gonna be screwed right here with my electric fans. At. You got the bigger one that's screwed on the outside. It's obviously smaller, so it don't take up that much space. Your smaller radiator is gonna be screwed here. If you got the fan clutch, I'm sure you do. Your fan clutch shroud is going to be screwed here. Fan clutch shroud, smaller radiator. And there's nothing here. You got an empty screw hole right here if you got the smaller one. If your screw hole is out here, you already got the bigger radiator and you good. I'm going to put a link down to the one I got to make this easy possible for y'all. I believe that's all the crucial info I left out. I be doing so much of this truck. I just be setting it up for new stuff. Now this stuff kind of expensive, man. Tearing it up and fixing it right up. Tear up and fix it, fix it. Tear up and fix it again. Left here was running good. Came back, had to fix it again. Tear up and fix it, fix it. Tear up and fix it again. Left here was running good. Came back, had to fix it again. Had to fix it again. Fix it. 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 Ain't no way in hell, that part that was brand new, this bitch still raggling as hell. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, ain't no way in hell, that part that was brand new, this bitch still raggling as hell. Fix it, fix it, fix it, ain't no way in hell, that part